Welcome back to the last daily rundown of the week. Thank you for watching Channel 7. I'm Dan Morfitt and with me are my guests, Stephen Armstrong, and she cut her finger on a beer can. <laughs> Ruth Coburn. It's going to be one of them shows tonight. And I'm liking it already. Right, It'll take next... a while. <laughs> a while. Right, let's look at our next news story. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn has launched his campaign for the Labour leadership. In the last two Woo. days alone, more than 183,000 people have joined the party. That's more than the entire membership of the Conservatives. He will run against Owen Smith, the MP for Ponty Prid. In his first speech since launching his bid, he said that he will focus on tackling the five ills facing the country right now. Inequality, neglect, prejudice, insecurity and discrimination. So, with the result of the leadership race due to be announced in September, who do we think will win? And are we sick of this yet? Yeah, sick um, of it. Bored, yeah. bored, bored. See, as a former altar boy, I've already heard. <laughs> I've already heard stories about a, a guy with the initials JC who was who was like harangued by the officials, but the people really followed him. But the <laughs> the politicians or Pharisees uh, were, were like trying to put him against him and said that they knew better than the people. But in general, we've got one hundred eighty three thousand people have paid twenty five pound to vote in this election between either a man who appears to be good and decent and honest and a man who narrowly missed out on the part of Harry Potter. Uh, Owen Smith... That's just, who he looks he like. He looks like Harry Potter. He is... He, he describes himself as a normal man. Now, I think he just meant, you know, he's kind of a normal gentleman in a normal family. But I quite like my politicians to be old and stuffy i want to get back to the days when politicians were politicians they weren't pr men they weren't mm. well groomed and well sculpted individuals they you need were to be someone that wakes up in the morning and goes yeah I, yeah i'm gonna do something yeah exactly yeah and not you know theresa may i'm Mame. not gonna pretend to do something exactly theresa may day day by day looks more and more like margaret thatcher's spitting image doll oh. she sounded just... like her in her first pmq yeah, yeah. she was very very and i think that Jeremy Corbyn to me just seems like a he seems like a nice, honest, he made decent some, guy. He made some jokes as well. Yes, he did. I saw he's he's, he's a he seems. He, I saw him interviewed uh, on uh, a, a a channel a after after three uh, on the news program, and and he got quite quite aggressive or quite uppity with a with the interviewer, and I think that we're finally starting to see maybe him get a little bit short tempered with the with the journalists, and it just to me it's. And I respect someone that'll get grumpy well, with yeah, a journalist. Yeah, I mean, look at Bjork. I mean, I don't think Jeremy Corbyn would do that, but oh, you know, I'd, oh. I'd love it though. No, if, well, yeah. if, he's, if he's getting grumpy now, what's he going to be like through all of August and then through to September when we'll finally get the results? Surely most people, if you're a Labour member and you can vote and you're eligible, you know which way you're voting now. Yeah. You've got a choice of yeah. two. It's a long you, you drawn out one. thing. Yeah. Why don't they just get it over and done with and vote now? Because I can't believe... we like a circus, don't we? Yeah, but I think everybody everybody is getting bored of it. I know we have to let the democratic process take place, but the Tories, they had their own Night of the Long Knives. Andrea led some, said some things about, I'm a mother, therefore I'm going to be a better Prime Minister. And that sorted out the race. And now we've got Theresa May, she's in Germany, Germany talking to Germany. Merkel. Germany. Germany. She's in Germany. Uh, she's mm. talking to Merkel, she's the Prime Minister. This just makes Labour as a party look already divided yeah it's a shame in it <laughs> <laughs> that's one way of looking it's a, it's, oh it's it's a, it's a real shame yeah i i agree we i don't think i don't think that there's going to be a great deal of difference of opinion from here to, to september as you say if you're going to vote for jeremy or, or or owen smith you're going to vote for them now you're not going to you're not going to need convincing I'm, I've never been a member of a, of a political party. I, I find the ability... Maybe we should start one. We should. Let's... <gasps> yes. Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> the Do It Now party. Let's do it now. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's do it now. Everything. Let's do it now. That's right. our policy. Exactly. That's yeah. it. Everything. We make a decision. We'll do it now. We'll do it. Yeah, exactly. There you go. We've Bob got the Syria. Phrase. Do, do it now. Oh. No, well, no, because no, no we wouldn't do silly things no, like that. No, no, we see. wouldn't. No, you no, see. No, because we'd... we'd bestow cake do it okay. now if this is going to be the do it now party yeah. which out of Ruth and Stephen is going to be the leader oh he does the talking yeah like, I wear the trousers but Ruth tells me which pair to put on so yeah. th this is how easy it is to pick a leader you've done it in a snap second yeah. you've agreed yeah. on that you've agreed that policy will I'm get too done flaky because I I, um, I struggle with sentences um, <laughs> and, um, and I'm very easily swayed 
I am. Um, so you if look I a very swayable person. I am. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm like an advertisement dream, advertiser's dream. Uh, yeah. Um, as soon as someone tells me, oh, you'll like this, I go, will I? Oh, brilliant. Oh, right. I, I like thrash metal now. Yeah. Um, That's it. Yeah. And my first policy is we should have a blanket bombing of, uh, of the whole of Africa. Uh, but what, by that I mean, we should just drop blankets. <laughs> uh, we should just put, like blanket bombing. Yeah. Should just that's what it should. Moving forward now, the term blanket bombing refers to blankets. giving blankets yeah. to people. But what happens in the Sahara where it's very hot? Well, we give them low tog blankets. Yeah. Yeah. There's logic in them. That or, or blankets with holes in. Just I, I'm thinking right now, people shouldn't have spent £25 to rejoin the Labour Party and vote in this election. They should just send £25 to us and we'll yeah. sort it out. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. That would have been a better idea. We could have at least got 75 quid by the end of the night. Yeah, well, I'm no good with money, you see. Oh, no, I can do the money. <laughs> and I'll do the talking. Yeah. Yeah. So what am I, what's so that So either a political party the... or bank robbers. That's what I was <laughs> <laughs> They're really nice bank robbers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where we bank ask kids. them. They'll ask, we'll just ask them to send us the money in the yeah. post. Just a, a nicely worded, a strongly worded letter. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. So going and back... A to... And a cheque, not cash, because like, the, it could be like yeah, fraud yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, We'll talk about fraud in a bit. Okay. So going back to your earlier metaphor, yes. is Jeremy Corbyn, is this his second coming? <laughs> yes. I believe, well, I, yes. See, now this, the, 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 the song I learned in school about that would lead me to believe that he would that, that his second coming would be he would arrive on a Yamaha. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, then, and I believe he would pull a, a skid and, and kill the kid. Yes, yeah. yeah. And then but that, that I mean let's yeah. not do that. No. 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 Let's just No. Yeah. Well I think the thing with the Labour, Labour leadership election, easy for me well, to say. We have say. to put him in a tomb then. We have to put him in a yeah. in the ground I, well, and roll some stones. Whoever loses the Labour leadership election may just go into political obscurity, but it's yeah. gonna be one of those things that's gonna continue now for months and months and months and we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. But I would like to see Neil Kinnock do Herod's song from Jesus Christ, Christ Superstar. <laughs> so you are the leader, the great Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> Prove to me that you're no fool. I really did tell you it was going to be that type of show tonight. <laughs> didn't I? Right, let's move on to our next story. Because you've already said about it. Fraud. Fraud and cybercrime is on the rise in England and Wales. A new report for the Office for National Statistics found that 2 million computer misuse offences and 3.8 million fraud offences have been committed in the last year alone. Most of which are related to bank fraud. Uh, with two and a half million incidents. Now, this is the first time fraud has been included on the National Crime Statistics report. A spokesman for the ONS said that it could be down to uh, it could be wrong to conclude that crime levels have doubled since the survey previously did not cover these offences. So, um, have either of you ever been a victim of fraud or cybercrime? Yeah, Ooh. I was frauded. Mm. How were you um, frauded? Someone brought up bought a GoPro camera in um, in Croatia. Um, with my bank cards. Um, so I got a nice little phone call from the bank and they said, are you in Croatia? And I said, no, I'm not. Um, but I did want a GoPro camera. Um, and you did probably want to go to Split? Yeah, but, um, but no. They, uh, yeah, they, they spent 250 pounds. Um, did you get your money back? I got my money back. And then the week later, um, someone in Nigeria tried to donate money to a bank. And then under, they went, God, the she does not donate money to banks. She is not charitable, especially <laughs> off a credit card. Well, that's quite a weird thing, isn't it? It is weird. set up a bank, hmm. they set up a, a church, a fake church. Um, and well, we've already set up a political party tonight. This is yeah. true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll just give out our sort code and, and bank account number and they can start uh, put. As I've previously said, I'm no good with money, so I'm not allowed one of those. <laughs> 224489. Wow. So, do, you, do you want to come up with just an account number? 215932 0. 0. It's got to be 8. eight. Zero. Zero. 01. Zero. Zero 01. I've never, I've never committed identity fraud, Dan. I'll, I'll leave it up to your expertise of how much. Are you saying I'm doing identity? That was completely made up. <laughs> Probably some hapless kid. I know, but I nearly gave my at, real one then. Oh, did you? <laughs> And for someone like, um, uh, go, oh yeah, I'll give you my number and then um, I'm supposed to be... There's people the watching number. That's Manchester Night, so it's great. <laughs> Easy pickings. <laughs> I'll have a GoPro. <laughs> I'll have one of those curved TVs as well, that'll be good. <laughs> Ruth, oh, E. Coburn. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. yeah I, uh, people write Coburn wrong. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Write it Cockburn and then you sort it. Thanks, uh, thanks. Have you... <laughs> 
<laughs> have you ever been defrauded, cyber crimed? Um, I don't know. I, I hope not. I, have you ever I, got with those emails going, oh, right, send me lots of money because I'm a prince? Oh, yeah, I've got that. And yeah. I've also had, um, I, I get them fairly regularly from uh, Barclays Bank telling me that somebody's tried to access my account, but I've never had an account with Barclays. Yeah. So I kind of, that tips Realize. me off that, that it's not I only them. get the ones about Viagra. I get the income tax ones as well. I get not the yeah, income, the, 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 the HMRC refund ones that yeah. say you have to go back and some PayPal. But I think some of these might actually be real because <laughs> my, my PayPal one says that my account's suspended and I think that's probably yeah, right. Yeah, I just ignore those. Yeah, and Amazon, they don't know where I live. So I think they've tried to deliver something to my house and, and they're trying to contact me to say, ah! but uh, I, I don't know. They ask you for information, just delete it. I, I don't believe, I don't trust people. That's what it is, you see. Yeah. <gasps> for, I used for. to work for this company. Uh, am I allowed to say who it, it was? Best not. Okay, if I it's worked dodgy. years ago, and um, this little old lady—it was like one of these, um, oh, e-commerce things—and mm. mm. the people phoning up used to think there was like a huge office, but it was just me sat on my own, <laughs> um, and they were wanting help with their e-commerce oh. things. But it was an old person company, um, and they'd phone up and they go, "I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the computer, right." And I want the thing that's on the computer. How do I do that? Well, I said, I can't see your computer. But they'd give you all their details. You know, don't give these details out. Um, but that one lady, um, she ended up uh, for, for weeks, she just emailed me and she gave me her own personal email oh, address. God. Oh, God. Um, you could have pictures. been a one-woman fraud crime wave. Oh, and they were so trusting. Um, yeah. Well, that's possibly half the problem. Now, fraud is I worked for the... another company. I got, I got sacked because... Um, <laughs> Um, I wasn't very, very good. Um, and then apparently um, telling someone to cash the check, even though, uh, yeah, I'll stop, I'll stop talking. Yeah, <laughs> you're basically inveigling yourself into fraud. Yeah. fraud. Fraud is now the biggest crime in the UK. Yeah. Uh, I'm not I, a fraudster, are, 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 I'm not are, a fraudster. Are you fraudster. fearful of it in the future now? Um, I I one word answer. No. Ruth? What was the question? Are you now frightened of fraud more than ever? Yes um, or no? No. See, a definitive no. Uh, it's time for another break on the Daily Rundown. In a bit, our guests uh, will be talking about a Canadian Jewish male duck and vitamin supplements. All coming up in three minutes here on Channel 7. I see what you've done there.